Welcome to another video guys. In today's video, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm gonna be doing the rear fender liners on a Ford F-150, 2020 F-150. Now I got this kit from Ford, uh, so it comes with both sides of the fender liners. A uh, really cool thing is these are marked, so this is left, which is this side here. Uh, it comes with all these pieces here, so we have uh, three metal clips, three bolts, and three push clips. Uh, it should be pretty easy to install. I have the instructions here that it comes with. Uh, so. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you can do this. Uh, this should be the same for, I would say probably like 2017 through 2021 uh, F-150s. Even the older ones are probably similar, but um, you can get these fender liners from like Amazon, the Ford dealer, uh, maybe even eBay, but I just went to Ford and got them and uh, let's see how they fit. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is, uh, I went ahead and washed my vehicle earlier because it was a little bit uh, dirty, especially here underneath the fender. And keep in mind, if you have mud, you know, it's all gonna stay under there. So um, obviously things gonna get back there, I'm sure. But if you have a lot of mud, clean it out. Uh, this is pretty simple. Now this is with the Ford kit. I'm not sure if, uh, if you buy the kit from Amazon, if it's gonna have the same clips as this one do, but uh, what you're gonna do is here I'm on the passenger side so you're gonna find the hole here on the back that's got the oval on the front side it's just round so where it's got the oval here just go ahead and put that little clip in there just push it all the way in until it's in place and then here on the back side you can see on the on the back side there's the round and then there's an oval here on the bottom. So we're gonna get another one of these clips, put it on that oval piece there, and then towards the front of the vehicle, get a flashlight in here. You're gonna see the same thing. Uh, so you're gonna see the round one. And then you're gonna see the oval here on the bottom. Drop that on the floor, but anyways, uh, just go ahead and put it in there. Just clips right in place. The one that's a little bit hard to push in is the one on the bed itself back here. Um, it's just a little bit tighter to push in, probably because it's got like a double metal where here is single. So once you do that, you're pretty much ready to drop the uh, liner in there. Um, and you just gotta kinda guide it in. You don't have to take your tire off, so just put it on the tire like this. And then this is all gonna go behind the uh, actual bed fender here. So you just gotta push it in place. Uh, it just takes a little bit you know, pushing, but it's gonna go right in there. Now, keep in mind, these are from Ford and they fit mine that has the fender flares just fine. Um, I read some, I was gonna get some off Amazon that said they wouldn't work if your vehicle has this. So I don't know if those bolt in here, um, not 100% on that, so keep that in mind. But once it's in there, I mean, you can see it's almost pretty much lined in. So you just gotta, Kind of race a little bit it's going to be lined into those holes and so what i'm going to do first is just start the uh bolts here they kind of seem tight at first but it's just because you can't really hold it that well 
um, you could just use like the socket by itself and it's pretty simple to turn it. Now these aren't going to be super tight, they're really just holding this fender liner which is almost like clicked in place here. But um, I'm, I am glad that it has bolts on it to kind of, not just the plastic pieces. And then same with this one here, I'm just going to move it a little bit. Just slightly. And I'm not too worried if it's not right in the center of that screw yet. I'm just gonna the screw not all the way just a little bit and then I'm gonna do this front side here same thing here on the bottom and just start it in there and then I use the socket to just turn it a little bit, that way it doesn't fall off. Pretty much what's going to align the whole liner is going to be uh, this one's here because they're pretty thick to one these holes. So I'm just going to put the camera down here for a second. So this one I'm going to line it up so it's, and then just push it in. They go in pretty, pretty easy, but they hold pretty well. And then once you do that first one, then the other ones are going to be pretty lined up. Um, this is going to be a little bit off, but once you get it started, push it in, it's going to pretty much go into place. And then last one, this one here. So same thing, you know, you're just going to line it up. So I'm just going to wrap the camera here. So I can use both my hands. There we go. And that's all the way. So once all these are done, then I can just go ahead and tighten up the bolts all the way. And then this last one up back here. Now I'm just using my hand for now, but I will use my ratchet here in just a second. And like I mentioned before, these don't have to be super tight, just snug. Last one is here on the front. All right, there you have it. So that's how you install them. Makes it look just a little bit cleaner. Uh, you know, it's gonna protect all the mud from getting a lot of places really. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, I gotta say this Ford ones fit really good. Perfect, um, easy to install. So uh, I'll go ahead and show you out of the garage here how the vehicle looks, but that's, that's how you install.
lights out of sight. Long uh, way, so in, say it again, so in. Make that money, throw it in. Booty bouncing, gone come on, head. Come on. Rose Force, Lamborghini, Blue Medina, always beaming. Rag top, chrome pipes, blue lights out of sight. Long uh, way, so in, say it again, so in. Make that money, throw it in. Booty bouncing, gone head. Come on, come on. Rose Force, Lamborghini, Blue Medina, always beaming. Thank you for watching the video guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.